Here are the Oxido LED headlights that are supposed to work with the dust covers closed. So we're going to try these out and replace the Morimoto's and the Morimoto's are going to go in the suit. Hey YouTube, no fighting while I'm filming. Here's what they look like. And we'll give them a shot. So here I've retrieved the multi-muscle bulb and the adapter from the truck. So I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down here. Here is our Oxido LED, and you can see it's quite a bit shorter in both dimensions, both sides rather, than the Morimoto is. So here, here is our plus minus. All you can see here, here is the red and black from the wire that goes in the truck. So we take our plus, we line it up with the red, which in each case is opposite to me here. Clips in real easy. And we just feed our wiring back in to the wire, to the headlight housing, and then we'll clip the bulb in place. It's easier to clip the bulb in place after you feed the wiring. Because uh, the giant heat sink gets in the way. Okay. Just need to figure out which of the three locking lugs for this headlight go into which um, lug hole. Like a charm. And then last but not least, take our dust cover here. Make sure all this wiring is firmly set inside the housing. So the lock is this way. Some flat. Nope, not quite. Okay, kind of a pain to get to this one just because the the windshield wiper fluid caps in the way. But as you can see, this is the headlight, and it, the dust cover is now on. And there's the high beam. So it's a little hard to tell during the daytime. They are definitely on. So it looks like. Op success. And we'll wait till it gets dark and we'll give them a try. So putting on the wheel locks is pretty easy. You just need a 19mm socket, torque wrench with the appropriate sized shank that'll do at least 110 foot-pounds, and uh, the wheel lock adapter. 
So you're just gonna take off one lug, any lug. Put wheel lock lug on. adapter up first, socket, and torque wrench. There it is. Now the specs off of the manual for these are 135 newton meters about 100 foot-pounds. I think it turns out to be 99.67 something foot-pounds. That's Here's the Oxido LEDs on the garage and their beam pattern. I apologize for the barking, but the neighbor's dog is sometimes loud. And we'll go turn on the fogs. It's gonna work without the engine on. So you can already see the separation is a little smaller. It looks like the spread from the Oxidos is a little bit wider than the spread from the Morimotos, which were really, really, really concentrated. These are still pretty nice. And of course, the dust caps go on. So that's always a plus. Here are the Oxidos. As you can see, the beam pattern is a little bit softer. The Morimoto beam pattern was very jagged. It's not true with the Oxidos, and they're still plenty bright. I think they're probably at least as bright as the Morimotos. And more importantly, they fit with the dust covers closed. So here is what the fog lights look like. They take over a little bit more on the road. And just for grins, here is what a brand crest this little hill. The high beams look like. We'll have to replace those two at some point. You can see those are still stock because they're not that very bright white color temperature.